hello everybody um, this video is going to talk about the find function in VBA Excel and it's a great way to speed things up instead of doing loops or um, yeah basically instead of doing loops and looping through rows and columns looking for something if you know what you want you can just search for it on the on the workbook in the workbook so in this case I have um, the term dog in three cells um, it could be a hundred different uh, instances of this I just put three so for the example for the example so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find each cell with dog and we're gonna mark it that we found it that's what we're gonna do and the reason well basically you could use this say you wanted to find dog and then do something with the cell or do something with a cell nearby you could use offset you could find the cell and then loop through the column or the row to do whatever you want so it's a great way to find something on a worksheet and then uh, move around that way but first you have to find it and that's how we'll, that's what this video is about so let's go into the code and see what we have uh, so we have we have to declare a range and a range is something you've maybe seen like range a5 dot select and that's what you're doing here you're declaring a range so you declare a range called result and that is going to be the address of the find function so we also need a search term and the search term here is dog so search term is string declared as string and then we put dog in the search term then we select the sheet and now we go into a loop we're gonna do a do loop until the result of the find function is nothing so here's what you do you put do the first thing in the loop you put with active sheet dot cells and then you put set result so now you're setting the range that you declared equal to the find uh, function which is dot find and here you use the search term so find what you want to find dog and then after cells so this is after all the cells look in all the cells and look in the values and then you have look at the whole or the part and you want to look at everything so you put Excel whole um, search order by rows direction match case you could Google the dot find function. You could find out exactly what each one of these parameters means. Uh, what's important is that this works. So um, just Google it if you want, or you can just take a look at it here, and you'll be able to pause the video and write it down and things like that. Okay, so once you have that written, this is the most important part, dot find. This is going to find dog and put it in the range result and then it's going to select the range so you're going to select the cell with dog and then you have to change the value of the cell so you do not select it again um, you could also instead of changing the value you could do something like this like result dot address does not equal first address so you could find after you find it the first time you could take in the address of the first result and then compare it to next results if you don't want to change the value but for this instance we're gonna change the value so instead of dog it's gonna say dog found and then we're gonna set the result this is important to the next uh, instance of find so what this does right here this highlighted part it goes back to this find function and finds the next instance of dog and it's and it sets result to that range it sets the range result to that uh, to the result of the find function and now you want to loop until result is nothing 
So you're going to stop doing this find function when there are no more dogs that need to be found. So let's see how this works. So we're going to step through and right here you see it selected the first dog cell. If we keep moving, well you can also see that it put found in there. Now we're going to keep moving, keep looping. Let me bring this down a bit. And we going to find we're going to find again and there you see it selected the next dog. It's going to put the found in there and now it's going to move on to the third dog. It's going to loop again. We're looping again and it selects the third dog right here. It's going to put the value in there of found and there's there should be no more dogs now so we loop until result is nothing it's gonna go back up and there's no more dogs to be found so that's it so let's just do that just run it and you can see that it works I'm just going to press run and here you see it found all the dogs so this is pretty useful. It's a lot quicker than doing loops. Um, going X row is X row plus one, or X column is equal to X column plus one, and looping through uh, columns. So try to use this instead. It'll speed things up. It's faster, and it's it's actually uh, a better way to find stuff. So if you can do it, it's good. Um, you could also put another find function within this loop. You could do a lot of stuff. So you could keep finding other stuff once you find dog you could then do another find and find something else and um, that's how you do that so if you have any questions let me know please comment and uh, thanks if you uh, if you need help or anything just let me know bye